Welcome to Tantrum House. I'm Kevin Delp. And I'm Melissa Delp. Today we're talking about You Betcha. It's a party game for two to six players, or even more if you play in teams, and it's coming to Kickstarter June 15th. And You Betcha, you'll be able to collect on your intellect by betting on how well you can answer certain questions. Or maybe you're going to collect on that random knowledge you have. Here's a look at the prototype components. Six dry erase boards and markers, betting chips, dice and a timer, and a bunch of question cards in four main categories, jocks, globetrotters, know-it-alls, and paparazzi. Players start the game with an equal value of chips. At the beginning of each turn, every player must pay a $1 chip ante, and then the active player rolls the dice. One die determines the question category, and the other determines the game mode, whether it's live bet, silent bet, or all play. All the cards have lists of items like 17 Pixar films, the top 20 most common last names in the U.S., or 40 movies starring Jim Carrey. Once the card has been revealed, then the betting starts. If you're playing live bet, you'll go around the table and each player will say how many answers they think they can get for that question, and the number will also be the amount of money they're planning to bet. Now, whoever actually bids the highest will be the one who puts money in the pot and the only one who actually plays that round. That person will then have one minute to write as many answers as they can, and if they can get at least as many answers correct as they bet, then they will get the pot of money and the bank will pay equal to what they bet. So that's a pretty good thing. Now, if they can't get enough answers, if they bet 15 and only get eight, for example, then all the other players get to split the pot evenly. Now, silent betting is similar to the live betting, except, and still one player will answer. The difference is that everyone secretly writes down the number of answers they think they can get and then reveals it. Whoever has the higher number gets to play. And then the last category is all play, and that basically means everyone gets to play. There is no betting. Everyone will have one minute to write down their answers, and at the end they will get one chip for every correct answer. The person who gets the most correct will be able to take the ante from the pot. I like that there are a lot of cards. They're easy to read, and I like the graphic design. It's simple and clean. The four categories seem like they'd be good for different types of people. There's a good variety there. You know, jocks is going to be the category for people who really like sports. Paparazzi, that's for the people who keep up with pop culture. Uh, the globetrotters category, that's going to be more geography type questions. And then know-it-alls, well, that's kind of a catch-all. It has things like dog breeds, or the names of the planets, or even the Muppet characters. I like that there are lists on the card instead of just one uh, right answer. It sort of feels like a game in and of itself, trying to figure out how many answers do I actually know from that list. Um, it has a weakness, just like any trivia game. Um, one is, if you continue to play this game, you're going to probably remember some of the answers. Right, and then there's also the issue that some of the cards could go out of date. You know, Pixar is still going to make movies, actors are going to star in new movies, even, you know, the populations of cities could change in the drop one or a new one could get on the list. It would be nice to have the sources listed on the cards to help settle disputes, or to say, according to such and such a poll of 2017, this could help with the cards going out of date. We have a friend who's a big fan of Batman, and he answered some villains that he said were from that comic series that we didn't know about, so we just trusted him. Most of our friends said they liked the all-play game mode the best because they really liked the trivia aspect of the game and they wanted to be able to participate and not just watch someone else answer the question. Now, people who really like betting and that kind of push-your-luck type of aspect and seeing how high they can go, then those other game modes probably would appeal to them. You know, if you have a high bet, there is high risk, but there could be a large payout. So if you enjoy games like Wits and Wagers or other trivia type games, be sure to check out You Betcha on Kickstarter.